Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review a small time crime drama called Small Town Crime. See what I did there? Uh, so this film is about a drunk former cop who cops hate him, town not really like him a whole lot. He's very selfish. He's an adopted brother of an African American woman. And this cop's played by John Hawks, his sister's played by Octavia Spencer, her husband Anthony Anderson, and this man gets involved as an informal private investigator in the murder of a young woman who's a prostitute and her fellow prostitute friends. And Eshin and Ian Nelms are the directors on this film, and I feel like they do a really nice job of telling this story slowly pulling back layers and not giving in too much when they don't have to and they do a very nice job of holding back in this film telling the story and also they do a nice job of not showing you anything too gratuitous when they don't have to and the editing in this film is very subtly great honestly with how certain things it's like the way that like they'll show him pulling away in like his old like muscle car and the way that they like, cut towards these quick shots really makes it tense and engaging or if when you cut away the edits that really work in this film are the cutaways when it just like leaves you guessing what happened and then later when it's revealed what happened it makes sense but it keeps that tension going for the film and has a very subtle but suiting score by Chris West Westlake and it is subtle it's not like big swelling music but the music works really well for this kind of drama this crime film and like the setting that it takes place it really works well for that and John Hawks does a great job he's a fantastic character actor and when he gets a chance to really show his chops in a leading role, he does, and he does in this film. He's really, really good, and he's charismatic, and he's well fleshed out, and that makes him stand out in a film, which I'll talk about this a little more, but Anthony Anderson and Octavia Spencer do nice jobs in their smaller supporting roles, and Jeremy Ratchford, so I've seen him in things, and he seems just like an well, he usually plays off little side supporting characters, and he's usually funny, I feel like. And in this film, he's really creepy and unnerving as, like, a hired a hired gun. And he is probably the most interesting side character in this film. And he really, really sold it, and he brought some screen presence. One of my big things about, like, crime films or, like, action films, you have to have some fun, engaging antagonists that really stick out and are very memorable, he's one of those. And just like his voice, his look, how he carries himself in the film, it really does sell it and makes him a memorable character. I also enjoy Robert Forrester popping up a little bit. He has a memorable small role in the film. It has very solid dialogue. Some of the quips going back and forth with characters I enjoyed gave some good laughs. Or it could be very tense and powerful quotes as well the thing is what draws us away from being a fantastic thriller crime drama is it's really familiar and nothing's gonna super surprise you in this film and it looks fine it's not super well shot not technically really super well made it does its job it's a this feels like a workman's crime drama and it works that way and i enjoyed watching it I would probably watch it again, and if this film sticks in my brain and doesn't kind of like become forgettable, I might wind up buying this, and time will tell how long this sticks there. And there's one character played by Clifton Collins Jr., who I do really like in a lot of things. I thought that his character was kind of offensive and over the top and weird and really didn't fit with the rest of the film. He stuck out like a sore thumb. He seemed like a badly written Coen Brothers character plopped in a more serious, straight-laced crime drama than a Coen Brothers movie. Like, 
if he was if like the caricature the character would have fit better in something a little goofier and odd and offbeat but this film isn't that and he really stuck out and it was weird but overall i enjoyed small town crime quite a bit and i'm gonna give it a b